with just one advertisement you can reach global market understand the trend about it the limitation of advertisement here is what lack of feedback but whereas i have given you three criteria the one criteria is where ad is not there and you have 120 as a selling price because of the new technology which has been in the market many of the family Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Business Studies in Vidyashram PU College the Temple of Excellence in this session I gonna go with the beautiful concept called as the merits of advertising as you all know what is advertising and now I'll tell you about the merits of it the first merit of advertisement is always like it reaches the mass that means what exactly it is with just one advertisement you can reach global market understand the trend about it that is the reason many of the big billionaires who are the manufacturers they invest more on advertisement the reason is it can reach n number of people who you are the target customer you wish to now the first one here is as i said mass reach the second one is it enhancing the customer satisfaction and confidence to buy that means the customer are satisfied they'll buy and they have a confidence about the product definitely they'll buy expressiveness that is expressiveness you can express everything about the product see the product is a non living thing now the product cannot talk that these are the things which the product have though you have done labeling and all but you are supposed to tell to the people that what the product is what are the benefits of it and with all the tricky tricks of all the advertisement company the company main motive is what that is one is to give them the information information and another to make them buy the product so that is what is expressiveness is all about next one is advertisement is economy economy in the sense what it is of low cost advertisement is what low cost sir they gave like 1 crore 2 crore or 3 crore to the brand ambassadors now advertisement is very costly it is not if you calculate for that one person whom they are paying and just understand from that one person how many people can be reached now if you calculate with that you will get it in paisas so this is what the beauty of advertisement is all about so we have one is it is reached mass the second is it enhances the customer to get the satisfaction and a confidence about the product confidence about what about the product and i'll tell you what it is only because of advertisement say 80% to 85% the product are doing really good in the market because customer knows their name very frequently often they only watch that so what happens is they go and they buy the product see that's why you should be always in the market scenario if you are out of the market the league is gone next one is limitation if merits are there then definitely limitation will also be there so what are the limitations of marketing first thing is less forceful sir you told about 80% to 85% but now you are telling it is less forceful i'll tell you in the same time if it is not effective the advertisement is in very effective and it did not reach the people now what happens is it is less forceful the thing is if the quality of the product is not good and whatever you go with advertisement it will not happen the customers will not come in they will not buy lack of feedback i told you about this lack of feedback the reason is advertisement is all about monologue i want to stress this word called monologue because advertisement is only one way it is all always what one way one way okay now that's why you don't have feedback for advertisement say example there is a uh, advertisement where you have kindle joy or you have parlay you have any kind of a thing whatever the advertisement agency is doing it they are actually giving it to us and if we accept or if we don't accept also we can't tell them what is that they are supposed to do what is that we want the detail to be known so 
the limitation of advertisement here is what lack of feedback but whereas you have something called door to door service door to door when you go with this door to door what happens is you get feedback immediately so you can actually rectify the mistakes so rectification there is a time in door to door but there is no rectification time for the advertisement because it is already done so what happens is you will not get proper feedback you will not get proper feedback whereas in door to door you will get proper feedback and you can rectify the mistakes next is inflexibility understand this inflexibility door to door what happens is you can be flexible to the customers to the customers okay but when it is advertisement what happens is it is always rigid once it is done it is done you cannot change it it is always rigid next point is low effectiveness now understand this low effectiveness what it is though i told you about the less forceful now how is it low effectiveness there are many places where advertisement cannot reach now if the customers or the potential buyers they are in the village okay they are in the remote places now your advertisement cannot reach them now what is the problem here the product is in the market but through advertisement you are supposed to reach the public but you can't reach the public because public doesn't have the medium of you watching those advertisement so that that will happen what it will reflect on low effectiveness of the advertisement one more is low effectiveness though the public is their audience is there but you cannot communicate properly that is also what low effectiveness so these are the things which you are supposed to know next is objections of advertising what is that objections what are the objections you are supposed to say? one is adds to cost one is what add to cost understand this we have a formula which you know total cost plus profit is equal to selling price okay total cost plus profit is equal to selling price now where will you add your advertisement charges you need to add your advertisement charges here in the total cost so we have something called fixed cost and variable cost okay now this is where the advertisement goes variable cost that means your total cost will increase when your total cost will increase definitely selling price should not be increased so you will minimize the profit that is where the objection will be next is undermine social values you are supposed to go with the social values and you are not supposed to go out of the social values there are many advertisement which has gone out of the social values and it was banned because of the custom and the tradition practiced by the country next is confuses the buyers yes there are so many competitors understand there is competition right when there is a competition there are more advertisement when there are more advertisement there are more choices choices when there are more choices it leads to confusion now you can go with any of the examples like pepsi advertisement and coke advertisement in pepsi also there are so many items in coke there are so many items so more advertisement what happens is to our dilemma to the customer saying that which one should i buy now understand advertisement can lead to confusion also we have a product called surf and then we have a product called surf excel and one more we have something called surf excel advance now within the company there is a competition within the company there is a competition what is the competition will be given to the surf excel the advertisement or the advertisement given to surf excel advance totally it is different but what it is same manufacturer same advertising company but there is a confusion should i buy surf excel advance or should i buy surf excel only so this is what it is called confusion to the buyer next is encourages sales of inferior product encourages sale of inferior product see here what happens is what are the inferior products the products which cannot go to the advertisement now here what happens is they will not increase the inferior product because advertisement is done by people who are very rich or they are financially strong if there are few products which are inferior now for them the advertisement will not happen when it will not happen the sales will definitely come down 
सम एडवर्टाइजमेंट आर इन बैड टेस्ट ना देर आर फ्यू एडवर्टाइजमेंट विच आर मीनिंगलेस विच यू डोंट फील लाइक वॉट इज द एड ऑल अबाउट राइट ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट यू वुड हैव टेकन बट नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द एड यू नीड टू लिस्ट ऑन फ्यू ऑफ द थिंग्स वेर यू हैव नॉट टेकन द प्रोडक्ट ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द एड नाउ दीज आर द ऑब्जेक्शन ऑफ एडवर्टाइजमेंट द फर्स्ट वन इज इट एड्स टू कॉस्ट इट एड्स टू कॉस्ट सेकेंड इज इट अंडरमाइंड सोशल वैल्यूज अंडरमाइंड द सोशल वैल्यूज कन्फ्यूज इज द बाइयर इट इज अल टेल यू वॉट इट इज दिस इज द very important one advertisement is only to make the customer realize that there is a product but too much of advertisement what happens because of too many competition it actually confuses the buyers which one to pick encourages sale of inferior and products some advertisements are in bad taste there are few advertisement agencies who have taken the good product but because of their bad performance the product have failed in the market next one is let's go with one by one add to cost what is that add to cost i told you about this right total cost plus profit is equal to selling price right so what it happens is advertisement is added in the total cost only when it is added in total cost now what happens i'll tell you i'll give you two criteria one without advertisement one more is with advertisement so without ad let's go with without ads total cost let's say total cost plus profit is equal to selling price now total cost in the sense you have a let's go with the maggi noodles right now without advertisement say it is 100 rupees now you are actually going with 20 rupees profit you go with 120 done i'm just giving you a random figure let's not go with maggi noodles let's go with any of the noodles now ads right 100 rupees plus 20 is a profit 120 rupees is the selling price now this is without advertisement that means without advertisement the total cost of the product is 100 rupees to manufacture a product it is one unit is 100 rupees now with ad with ads now what has happened is with the ad say the ad went for 50 lakh rupees or 60 lakh rupees right now if you compare that how many people have actually taken the all the logic kind of a thing then you will get to know now it is 100 rupees total cost but for one unit the ad charges was say 3 rupees now that 3 rupees should actually get calculated in the total cost so what happens is now 103 plus now let's not talk about the profit selling price remains the same 120 now according to that 3 rupees is added in the total cost that is what the adds to the cost the opponent of advertising argue that advertising unnecessarily what is it unnecessarily adds to the cost of product which is ultimately passed on to the buyer ultimately it is passed to the buyer in the form of high prices now understand the concept here 100 is there it became 103 because of advertisement okay now he need to sacrifice his profit only when he sacrifices his profit the profit is 17 rupees but if it is added to the customer understand if it is added to the customer the same example how it is now it is 103 to make a product because advertisement is there with ad okay with ads are there now he will not negotiate the profit he wants a 20 rupees now what happens is 123 that 3 rupees is added to whom to the buyer itself understand this which is ultimately passed on to the buyer in the form of high price now 120 was there because of ad what happened 123 happened this is what happens when it is adds to cost now i have given you three criteria the one criteria is where ad is not there and you have 120 as a selling price second criteria ad is there but what is it the ad is added to the total cost but they are 
minimizing their profit no issues now 17 rupees is there now 120 is a selling price next thing is there are people who don't want to actually take the less profit they want to maintain the same profit of 20 rupees so they are maintaining 20 rupees here 103 is what the cost is now the selling price becomes what 123 because of advertisement so this is what the objection is all about the next one is undermine social values undermine social values understand i have given you two of the televisions here one is say the new technology that is a flat screen another is the jumbo screen that is the big fat television now you have two kind of a thing now in the advertisement what happens understand because of the new technology which has been in the market many of the family they don't want to go with the old one they want to upgrade themselves that is what happens in the market so here it breeds discontent what it does it breeds discontent among people as they come to know about new product and feels dissatisfied with their present state of affairs that means what right now what happens is the more the new technology is coming new products are coming in the market whatever we have the old one this is the old one okay now we don't want to have the old one we want to have the new version so what happens here this is what it undermines social values undermines the social values example now you have uh, seen in your family itself right you would have used a shoe which is a normal shoe only because you watched a nike ad or a sketches ad now what happened it undermines the social values now you don't want to go with a basic shoe you want to go and buy a nike shoe or a sketcher shoe the same way it is for the kitchen item also the minute your mom says that she need to alter the entire kitchen why is that she has actually have that plan of altering it because she would have seen in the advertisement about the italian kitchen or the french kitchen all those kind of other things that is the reason she actually gets that urge of changing the set the same way here also whenever you go with any of the examination you want to have a pen how is that you will get to know that there are few things which have come in the market it's all because of advertisement because there is a rapid uh, thing about one of the product you intend to buy it that's why we say that there is a thing called it breeds what does advertisement do it breeds that means the buying capacity it increases the buying capacity and people feel that they are dissatisfied because they don't have that particular product and that is what the key role of advertisement is next one is confuses the buyer yes supposingly let's go with this right now they want to buy a car okay car now the question is which car which car and thing is why should we buy and what is the real aspect right now understand the first thing is we need to buy a car now which car why and what are the aspects now if you go with this combination understand many of the buyers only because of too many advertisement they are in a dilemma that what to buy understand this concept here so many products are being advertised which makes similar claims that the buyer gets confused same way car best mileage the cost is less the price is less you get guarantee you get warranty you get services you get down payment option you get loan option you even get easy emi you don't need to pay installment you don't need to pay emi now every car owner is actually giving the advertisement agencies the ad so that the ad which comes to the general public now they are in a dilemma that which car what exactly we should do is the mileage good or the body good is the company good now the reason is every advertisement says the same thing you have Bajaj Finance as the option. You have so many other kind of a thing. You will get uh, three or four services free. Everything is the same. So what happens is there is a confusion with the within the buyer.
so here so many products are being advertised there are n number of product which are being advertised which makes similar claims that is one thing similar claims that the buyer and what is it? number one uh, sales uh, in the India number one car in India number one car in the world number one everybody are saying the same thing number one number one so which is the real one we don't know right one of the true and which is one should be relied upon that means what you get confused as to which one is true which one is true we don't know and which one should be relied upon that is where you have a question mark next one we have is it encourages sale of inferior products advertisement does not distinguish between superior and inferior product and persuade people to purchase even the inferior product now understand what happens is any product even if it is one rupee if it is say 10 lakh rupees advertisement actually encourages encourages even if it is one rupee or it is say 10 lakh rupees they encourage us so advertisement doesn't have any kind of a thing that we need to only go with 10 lakh rupees ka or we just need to go with one rupee ka so it encourages all the products so example i'll tell you you have advertisement for cars the same way you have advertisement for chocolates or bubble gum or any kind of breakfast now this is what it is you need to understand what is the purpose of advertisement to just inform people about a product if the product is even for 50 paisa or 50 lakh rupees you are supposed to inform so it encourages next one is some advertisements are in bad taste yes this one you should actually list down i'll tell you what you are supposed to do is list down any 10 advertisement which you felt that it is really not good but what it is the same way you are supposed to make one more column right i'll just tell you here how you are supposed to go with this serial number okay now product and then you go with rating then you go with advertisement and then the last one is rate the advertisement if you go with this concept say one any product let's go with uh, xyz you use the product ah, the product you are supposed to use it xyz and rate the product according to your willing that is uh, from 0 to 5 so 0 being the least and 5 being the upper limit then you go with advertisement that product should have advertisement now you are supposed to go with what exactly the advertisement is it satisfied or not satisfied then you go with rating that is again from 0 to 5 you are supposed to so 0 being very bad and 5 being very good you will understand that because of the advertisement there are people who are not buying the product because of the quality of the product you are not buying the product because of both are good you are buying the product so you will understand this criteria so please do this kind of a research and you will understand what is the real drawback of the product whether it is the quality of the product or the advertisement of the product now some advertisements what usually happens are they have a bad taste distort what is it some advertisement distort the relationship like employer employee and are quite offensive usually what happens is it is more offensive so usually we don't buy it and here in the advertisement what happens i'll tell you we have something called right to expression right and right to expression right to freedom all those are there there are many uh, agencies which have actually gone against the code of conduct of being advertisement agency but still people have accepted it like we had a one of the beautiful example which i can say is there was a ad called harish sadhu now harish h for something a for something r for something right now what it does it gives a offensive kind of a thing to whom to the society so we are not supposed to go with it but i'll tell you what it is if you like the advertisement you just need to accept it if you don't like the advertisement you don't need to accept it that is what the 21st century advertisement concept is for the customer so these are the functions of advertisement which you are supposed to know and if you have any doubt any kind of a thing about the, these sessions you can 
calls, messages. We are always there to help you, students. Thank you so much. I'll see you when I see you.